around 400 Welsh guards marched into Cardiff Bay, past the Millennium Centre and onto the Roald Dahl Place for their traditional St David's Day parade, where hundreds of people had gathered to witness the event. This year is our centenary year, a very special year. And St David's Day has always been a very special day, of course, in the history of the regiment, the history of Wales. And to be able to celebrate uh, St David's Day here at the iconic Millennium Centre in the you know, capital city of Wales is really very, very special. And I think you've seen today from the turn up we've had, one of the greatest we've had for many, many years. A very proud day for all Welsh cars, and whether they're actually here or whether they're not able to get here and around Wales. Welsh cars! Salute! It's a very important year for us, the 100th anniversary, and uh, the fact that they're doing St David's Day in the capital city. Uh, is incredible, so it's a great chance to meet up with old friends. It's a great chance to see the battalion. Uh, I left 30 odd years ago, so it's great to see him in good uh, form. Very proud, and it's lovely to bump into guys that uh, I haven't seen for 30 years, and it gives a chance for the old and bold to have a march around, wear their medals, and uh, come together as a family. I think it's the only time it's ever happened, I'm not quite sure, but normally it would be held in the battalion, uh, wherever they're stationed. They're currently stationed in Purbright in Surrey. So the, the decision was made to come to Cardiff, the capital of Wales, for this special occasion so that the families could come down and they could have more people in attendance. So it's a very, very special year for all of us. Field Marshal Lord Guthrie was in Cardiff to present traditional St David's Day ceremonial leaks to every officer and guardsman. Well, the leak is our, is our cap badge, is the, is the sim symbol of the regimental, of our regiment. And uh, leak is, is synonymous with Wales. Uh, and therefore, the, the, the handing over of leaks to every single person on parade, to every Welsh Guardsman, every veteran, and, and, and the families is really, really significant. It's symbolic and it's very, very important. And it, it closes that tie, if you like, between that symbol and our regimental leak uh, and Wales. Every year, um, uh, you saw today the uh, Lord Guthrie who's the senior officer in the British Army, came along uh, to present the leaks to everyone, so it gives everyone a chance to remember their Welsh heritage, to wear the leak for one day, and they're uh, very, very important to them. Welsh Guards! Salute! And as well as serving members of the Welsh Guards, there was a large turnout of veterans in attendance too. I'm actually president of the association, president of the veterans, and uh, so for me it's very heart, heart moving, and I'm very proud of all of them, and I know a lot of them in there. They're a wonderful bunch of people, they're very friendly, very warm, and they're family, and that's what this is all about. It's about family, a regiment very close, very Welsh, and I was very, very proud of them. I'm very proud, yeah. There's guys I haven't seen for many, many years, and they're, uh, they come in all shapes and sizes, and uh, they put their medals on, they clean them up, they clean their shoes up, and this is their big day today so I'm sure we're going to all go and meet somewhere now and have a few drinks uh, and everyone will tell lots of war stories and the stories will get bigger and bigger by about six o'clock. And you've got your leak? Yes yeah, so they gave me my leak so that's the tradition uh, uh, in the Welsh Guards. We're very fortunate because the Royal Welsh make you eat leeks on St David's Day. The youngest soldiers have to come and eat raw leeks. We're a bit more civilised in the Guards, we just wear 